Hey guys, it's David from Feller. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my song Sky Dreamer featuring Azuria Sky out on Rushdown Color Base Volume 3. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, I know I'm a little late with this video considering it's almost been like, what, a month now since it's been out? But someone on Twitter uh, asked me how I uh, made some of the drop sounds. And honestly, it's been a while since I've done one of these tutorial type videos, like just going over like how I did things and my idea for, you know, songs and stuff. And you know what? I thought it'd be fun. So in this video, yep, yeah, I'm going to be doing just that. I'm going to be breaking down Sky Dreamer while also hopefully being entertaining. So let's see how that goes. So let's start with the intro, of course. Now the intro is pretty basic. You just have like a few little layers here. Like um, I always like to have very spacious intros with, you know, like pads and ambience and stuff too. Like for example. Yeah, I do a lot of those. But anyway, synth pad. Awesome. What is this? This is labs. This is the piano pad and labs. You will see a lot of labs in this. Uh, I We used like most of the lab stuff. All this stuff, like the Spitfire uh, labs thing, all this stuff here is free. So I definitely, definitely recommend uh, you all getting it. They have a lot of really cool sounds in it. So, so yeah, just uh, writing down like a little like harmony layer in the beginning to go off for the other layers to bounce off, such as this other sign pad, which is very basic. It's called Soft Square Pad, but it's not. I probably won't be going over too much of the effects because it's mostly just reverb and cutting out the lows on like everything that, you know, isn't a bass. But uh, yeah, I use a lot of shimmer. Shimmer's great, such as the other Valhalla plugins. Definitely recommend. We have very, very, like very basic pad. Like I'll disable the effects. Yep. Just basically like a pretty detuned sign that is like distorting a little bit. And you can get that really nice harmony sound. Add reverb and stuff, and that's a cool little pad layer. What else we got here? The piano chords. This is how it all started, I believe. Izzy actually started the intro, so props to Izzy, of course. So like a little little pretty melody. This using the uh, the Grandeur plugin in Contact. Uh, again, very basic stuff. Most of these effects, like the frequency shifter and the the bit crush and the like the cool pro R reverb is used later on in the song to uh, in the build up actually because we turned the piano into a riser, which I will show that off later, which is pretty cool. Same piano really, just a really nice little melody in the beginning. And then it has like that little like break where basically I just kind of muted everything here and there's like a mute thing and then there's like a little little beep sound, which is right here which I believe also uses Serum. Very basic. Yeah, it's literally just like a sign pluck. It's more of a square, actually. Literally, that's all it is. Just a little plucky square. Uh, and then we have another arp in the background. This is really like the main melody of Skydream, I would say, like this main arp sound. Again, just another sign pluck. We really like to use like basic shapes, like, you know, like sine waves and square waves, but really messing with it, like in the effects, like with reverb or white noise, like layered or distortion to fill it out a little bit more. So you'll, you will definitely see a lot of that. So already we have a, a decent starting point here. So pretty nice so far. We got something going and then we have some vocal chops. Uh, without the reverb. Yeah, these, I believe... Oh, this is actually a vocal run. Just kind of chopped up to make a little rhythm there and triplets, because yes, the song is in triplets. Um, and then finally, this is to add high end to everything. And this is really like the main thing filling up the intro, because without this, it's very like... It's just kind of empty feeling. So don't get me wrong, that's good. But this adds the high end. It's like a nice little pad layer. This is actually the pluck arp, uh, but reverbed out, made into an own, its own little pad. So that's pretty, that's pretty fun. Forgot about, forgot about that. Honestly, you'll, you'll, you'll get that a lot in this video. I genuinely forget about like a bunch of stuff I did in this project because if I go to the info, this was actually made in October of 2020. So this was, this took like forever to come out, but thankfully it finally came out. But yeah, the art pad, basically, um, over time, it just gets more um, LFO'd to have more of like a, an LFO feeling, say with the, the panning. So it gets more panned and it gets more LFO'd over time. And that's really the intro. Very basic stuff. Just basically like 
piano stuff going on, making like pads, setting the tone for, um, I would call uh, verse one or the little intro bit. Which I will say, very weird to hear without vocals. So I won't go over too much of the drums, but it's basically like just simple drums. Uh, using like perk hits and water just to fill it out a little bit. There's also like a perk loop that was turned from like a regular uh, thing into triplets. So with all the drums, this is what all the drums sound like. It's a pretty nice drum beat, I would say. The synth pad from earlier from the intro makes a return. Now with more things going on here. Then we have this texture pad, which I would say is the main sound of this section. So this like cool little like bell textury pad. Without the trans gate. Which the trans gate is basically just like an LFO. This texture pad, this um this pad is really good. Then we have the sign pad still going on. The piano melody, which is more like uh, adaptive, more added on to. So yeah, nice little melody there. And then we have this uh, little background lead that uh, Izzy made. Really, really cool layer, by the way. So it's like a nice little like sign lead going across here. Basically just getting high passed in with some delay. But yeah, this is literally just like a, a sign square. So yeah, very, very basic lead, but very cool, I will say. Uh, then we have the base layer here, uh, which is just a basic Reese. If you don't know how to make a Reese, very simple. Just a lot of unison, a little bit of detune. You don't want too little, you don't want too much, obviously. Low passed, and then what are the effects on here? Just a transgate to make it go with the uh, the texture pad, and then just getting uh, getting rid of the stereo and the low frequencies, so there's no stereo in the sub. So nice, and then a little background pad. I forgot exactly how this was made, but Izzy made this pad. And then we have the signature Yoba crash, which if you've watched any of the Skybrick tutorials, you have definitely seen this before. I have this sample in a lot of my tracks called the Yaba crash. Fun fact, I actually got this crash from doing a Twitch thing um, with a couple guys and he sent a stem, the guy was Yoba, and he sent a crash and I've used it for probably a few years now and then eventually I, I used it in my uh, my song with Skybrick. So, and he really liked the crash and now it's kind of everywhere. I see all my friends using it, it's really cool. I don't take credit for making the crash, but I do take credit for, <laughs> for I guess, showing it around. Definitely a nice little crash. Um, and then just some ambience. This is actually Izzy's ambience, uh, raining in Ireland. <laughs> it's just like a nice little, she has like a field recorder and she recorded the rain. So pretty awesome. Get to use our own ambience. That's always really cool. But yeah, that's really it. The second half isn't too much different. Just it kind of adds more um, notes in the chord to make it more like full. Also more layers, which I will go over in a second, but it adds more, more uh more notes in that then we have another texture pad which is also another labs uh pad like i said you will see a lot of these a really nice it sounds kind of like vocally but it's not like fake vocally which is a really cool sound so yeah very cool and also a really good layer so you can see there the piano chord coming back in but this is actually a very ott piano i can tell uh just to bring out some of the high end there so you can hear it sounds very fake, but it's not trying to be super realistic. It kind of works in this section because I just wanted, you know, something to fill the area and it was a good little layer. More of the piano melody, basically just more of the same stuff, but um, it's now uh, harmonized here. Yeah, so same with the background lead, basically the same, but it also has like this little like short little melody there. More arps going on in the background, so we have the pluck arp from the intro coming back. But it's more like the cutoff is more open. So instead of it being teeny tiny, it's big and wide. And then we have this like cool little uh, arp lead, which is actually just a just a triangle wave. And uh, using crystallizer and shimmer to make it that, that cool little like uh, delay sound where it like replays and then it gives like a, 
a cool little like delay sound. So definitely recommend Crystallizer. It's a granular echo synthesizer. I am so smart. I can read. Definitely recommend this plugin. This You can make some really cool, like beautiful, textury, wet sounds with it. But yeah. So very basic, literally, like I said, just a triangle wave, uh, just with like cool little effects, uh, slowly panning back and forth. So yeah, more of the same stuff here. Uh, the Reese. Oh yeah, this little Reese fill. Uh, I forget exactly. Yeah, I don't remember exactly where this was made. This might have been one of my friends that sent me this. I don't know. I don't know if I could take credit for this is what I'm saying. Always love doing these like little fills with like a Reese bass and then it going on to the next phrase. The background pad's going and then we have the, the thing from the intro coming in but more full. Um, the ambience, Yoba Crash, of course, and then the vocal drops. These are actually using a lot of our vocal chops, like a lot of different vocal chops that I made, kind of just like spliced together. So we had like the one I showed in the beginning, so the, the both one. And then we have this other one, which I believe that was using another whip, which I don't actually think it's out. And then the vocal run thing. Honestly, I will say, uh, for vocal chops, if you want, like, a- if you want an infaller tip here, uh, I recommend using vocal runs for vocal chops because they have a lot of really cool parts to chop up. Like, this whole run here. Like, there's so many, like, notes you could mess with there, and you could chop them up and make cool things like this. Yeah, you can see I also use the run just fully without even chopping it up here because it's just really cool. Yeah, so definitely recommend vocal runs for uh, vocal chops. And then we have the build up here. Uh, I won't touch up too much because, you know, build ups are boring. You want to see the drop, how the drop was made. So I'll do this quickly. It has the drop kick going up, you know, being low passed. Uh, we use Endless Smile. I definitely recommend Endless Smile for, for build ups. It's basically like a build up plugin. So it'll do a bunch of effects and you, all you have to do is turn one knob. It's honestly really useful. So A5 Crash, this is from, I forget what pack this is from. <laughs> you will also see this uh, crash a lot. Very useful crash because it's like a a really long crash that you can um, make as long as you want uh, so it's very useful uh, and then we have the piano melody which this is what I was talking about before with making the piano melody into a build up here so you can see a nice nice chill melody and then you can see it slowly just kind of fall apart a really cool little riser sound. Again, shout out to Izzy. Like, Izzy's really good at just messing with things and getting things to sound really cool. So the piano melody, basically, it slowly gets bit crushed, as you can see here. Um, I believe, what bit crusher do we use? Oh yeah, we use this one, which is by Deep Blue. This, I believe, is free. So basically, just slowly getting reduct. And then the, it's getting low passed. Slowly. It also is getting reverbed slowly. And then the frequency shifter is what makes it that weird riser sound. So you can see it's pretty normal up until the frequency shifter. And if you guys don't know what a frequency shifter is, it's basically what the name is. It's a frequency shifter. It'll it'll change the note without actually changing the note. It's a really cool effect. I can't really get into how exactly, you know, I don't want to get into that. I also don't really know, <laughs> I'll be honest. But yeah, very cool effect. Very good for risers, again, for buildups and such. And for basses, because if you turn down the mix of the frequency shifter, it'll kind of turn into a phaser when you move the, uh, like how, like how much the frequencies will be shift. So very, very cool little, uh, little, little thing there. Uh, and then we have the pluck going still, uh, here is where I guess it's the fun part. You guys will be disappointed, but I will open the other project, which, cause I actually have the sound design for all these bases saved. Uh, but yeah, most of the bases in the Sky Dreamer drop are actually just rendered from the other project. I didn't do sound design in this, so I will show that. Don't worry. So we have the little, the bass sound here. Slowly coming up in the buildup. Uh, has Dispersor on it to get that cool little lasery transient. Yep, we have some OTT, uh, and then some EQing, and then it's slowly going up in reverb. Actually, slowly, slowly going down in reverb, because the, the beginning of the build-up is very spacious and airy, so you the, you want the drop bases to match that, and then eventually it'll it'll go into uh, being not that. Most of the stuff's the same. Uh, we have like a little sweep up, just build-up elements. Um, nothing really interesting there. Then we have like a little, um, little impact. 
then we have this riser, which... This riser... <laughs> if I disable the effects, is actually me. It's literally just me. It's it's dumb, but it works. So there you go. It's the me riser. Yeah, that's pretty much the build up in short. And then the little, uh, the cool little uh, minimal pre drop here. Which is uh, pretty simple, I believe. I believe this is just a bell. Oh no, it's actually a E Hall's pluck. So you have like the little cool thing. And then the, the reverse going to the, the beep, which is actually the same beep from the beginning. So it all, it all comes together. And then you have like a little fill at the end. Just a little fill. Again, very weird to hear this without like the uh, the little hay from Mysterious Guy. Yeah, that's basically it. Now on to the moment you've probably been waiting for, the drop. So let's start with the drums, right? So the drums, very simple stuff here. Just a, uh, just a, that's actually a chime kick and a chime snare. So these are actually chime drums. Big shout out to chime. And then we have some xylent closed hats being, uh, panned, I believe. Yeah, they're being panned. Then we have the rides. Uh, and then we have some, so basically just, you know, simple drums here. And then we have Psycho But Cool, which is a, a Skybrick sample. So just chopped them up to make them triplets. Uh, I probably won't be getting too much into the drums because it's just mostly kind of boring stuff. Just cymbals and stuff to fill out the high end and the background stuff. So there you go. There's the other uh, the little drums. Uh, we have the... The arp from the intro just still going on. It basically goes on throughout the whole song. And then we have the, the drop plucky chords, which is, I would say, a pretty important layer. Uh, these drop plucky chords and the harmer pluck, very important layers for the drop. I believe this is silent. Uh, definitely recommend silent for um, plucks. Very customizable. So the the like I guess the uh, the pluck bus here is pretty pretty basic. Just a disperser to get that uh, the cool little lasery sound for the beginning, as you can hear with this. Some OTT, some reverb, and some EQing. But yeah. So again, very basic little uh, pluck here as well. Just detune saw waves, getting plucked, and then a square wave layer. It also has a slight pitch at the start, so it all it has that cool little like pitch pluck sound at the beginning. And then the harmer pluck, I would actually say is more important than the drop plucky layers because it adds like a really cool like choir type sound in the background, but it's not a choir. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but that's what it sounded like for me. And I thought it sounded really cool. Cool little harmer pluck, obviously it's made in harmer. Uh, Harmer is also really good for plucks and also just sound design. Very, very awesome plugin. Uh, I would say it's underrated, but it's not. <laughs> a lot of people use it. But if you haven't gotten to Harmer, definitely recommend it. But yeah, very, very basic little patch here. It's literally just like using the pluck thing. It's on a saw, a little bit, you know, unison, super saw stuff here, and then just a little phaser to make it a uh, move. Also, uh, pitching up slightly in the beginning. And then the cutoff going off, obviously. And then now we're getting on to the juicy stuff. This is the sound design. After I play this, I will show the project and the sound design. So yep, that's basically the drop basis, uh, all the sound design stuff together. I don't think I added too much stuff, basically just more OTT, more disperser, more EQing, getting, uh, taking out the lows because there's actually like a, a separate sub, so it's not super messy. So let me switch over to the project and show you how I made these basses. So here's the mess of the sound design uh, little uh, session that I had. Uh, you can see that it's kind of like all over the place because it's mostly just supposed to be like ideas. So I believe the main sound, like the first sound that you hear in Sky Dreamer is this one right here. Basically, all these bases are just kind of like a like pads, like this uh, alone pad, which is actually a Mamie Dofu pad. Uh, big shout out to Mamie Dofu, really, really uh, talented guy. So yeah, a nice little pad here. So you can hear that pad. And then we have like a bass sound layered on top of it, uh, doing like a cool little... If I disable the effects here. So a nice little like bass there. 
Yeah, so so that like wop, like the cool little thing is actually the thing I explained earlier with the frequency shifter and having it be like half, it turns into a phaser if you move it very slightly. So very cool little effect there. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, that's very simple sound here. Let me show you the, the morph here. So basically I'm using the interweave algorithm. Uh, and then it's just basically slightly, so this is the, that's the bass, and that's the pad. So then you could just, yeah, you can kind of like combine them together into this really pretty melodic bass sound. There's a lot of ways to make like a color based sound. You know, you can do resonators, pitch map, morph, like I'm showing here. Convolver is another one. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can make color based bases. And this was a uh, Sky Dream was actually the first uh, color based song we were trying to make. So we, we use like a lot of different stuff now, but this was just kind of the basic thing that I used at the time. So basically just using morph. And all the effects here are basically just using morph stuff, like morphing them together. So like the cool little. Like the cool little like plucky things uh, is basically just me chopping up the bass with the the pad. Again, morph is just super super awesome. And then for this, it sounded really cool. This is like the very end of the bass sound, so it's very this like it's just like a click, but it sounded really cool. So you have the the two little variants. Uh, again, super nice pad. Definitely recommend the Maybe Dofu pack if you haven't gotten it already. And then this is also like just a really long bass phrase, basically using I for I don't know what that that pads from either I made it or I got it off splice or something. And then uh, I believe this AE5 pad is from a, a virtual riot song that AE5 remixed. It's We're Not Alone, the AE5 remix, and that's basically just from the intro. Really nice pad, so I basically just kind of sampled it. So yeah, then you have this like nice little phrase here. So like a nice little little phrase here again using the AU5 bass a uh, little a uh, uh, little preset that I used which is actually the mid bass layer in the uh, the Skydreamer project. So using like different pads to get like a different sound. Pretty cool there. Again more of this stuff. Basically just doing what I did here, but instead of it being a major key, it's now a minor key. And then we have again more little basses here. Yeah, so we have this one again. It's basically just just the AE5 bass uh, thing that I made, and then the the pad, and then we have this this cool little biao sound here. Again, using the the AE5, I basically just kind of use this, but like mess with it a bunch of times, and then this really long phrase. Which I believe was actually used in the second half. Uh, I used a bunch of different pads to get like a different sound. We have so we have like this one, and then we have this other pad, and then we have we have that pad, and then this is actually I believe just like a, a super saw because I want a I wanted like a specific chord to be played. So yeah, that's that's basically all the sound design that I did for it. Uh, very, very basic stuff to start out with because I was just learning how to do all this stuff. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So let's switch it back to the, the, the actual project. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff there. Had a, had a lot of fun doing that. And then we have as the layer to all the, the cool little basses. This is also a very important bass sound. And I didn't realize this until I opened up the project a few months ago. This, this is actually like a really important like a uh, little layer sound to the, the basses because it adds a lot of movement. Especially to the first, like, growl sound. So without it, it's just... And then with it, it's... You can hear it has, like, the wow wow. So it adds, like, that cool little movement. And that's actually not in the original uh, little uh, sound. I don't remember exactly... I made this a while ago. Uh, I believe... Distortion, EQing... Uh, the EQ is actually... Is doing, like, the, the cool little, like... Uh, is what makes the sound sound like a wow wow. Uh, again, EQing is just taking out all like the the lows because they're sub, and then the highs. You don't want too much of the highs in the mid bass. So that's a little layer, and then there's another layer on top of that, which is a, another little like bass sound. It's basically just a sine wave, I believe. Yeah, it's literally just a sine wave that's really distorted and like compressed, and basically just like really like clipping, but very turned down. So it's just adds like a nice little like harmony layer. So it fills out a lot of that space. 
Uh, and then we have, you know, some noise downs, the vocal chops, the Yoba crashes, and then the drop vocal chops here. But you don't really hear much, but it's just slightly in the background. It's basically just an acapella that I chopped up and made like little slight little vocal chops using a uh, cool little Haas effect here with the stereo, making it super wide, making it kind of stand out, but also kind of blend in. So without it, it's like more wide. Uh, second half is basically just the same. You has like this cool little fill. It's pretty fun. So you have like nice little snap here. You have the like the little pluck arp stopping here which slowly uh, gets panned and LFO'd and reverbed out. Also, like, turned up in volume. And it has, like, the, the water like, coming in there. Same with the re reverse. Again, coming back with the, the full-on drop coming back. And then we have... The piano melody from the beginning, actually, in the drop, filling up a lot of that that space there's a lot of reverb there there's also another drop pluck layer here which is a very high-end bit crushed pluck here really cool little little chords there uh everything's basically the same here uh the art pad comes in to fill up more space and then we have me coming back in as a riser so pretty pretty funny and then we have uh, this section here, which actually... There you go. Nice little fill at the end of that. You can't really hear that, so cool little thing to show off. So yeah, basically everything kind of comes to the end here. It's like high pass up. So a nice, really cool uh, chorus layer. Also shout out to Izzy. Izzy did a lot of work on this song. I will... <laughs> so this Harmer pad, I believe... Yeah, very simple stuff, just like kind of a, a low-pass saw there, a super saw. This is actually a really cool sound, which I will definitely go over. So without all like the cool little like effects, very, very simple preset here. It's literally just like a super saw, again, plucked. But that's not why it's cool. The bass sound, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's what it's what what matters is the effects you add onto it, which is a cool little uh, phaser from Effector, which definitely recommend this plugin as well. Very cool phaser and flanger. So a nice little phaser there. And then you have uh, OTT. You have the delay, which actually is. So the pluck delay is actually like going down. And then you have this LFO, which is basically just like a pan. So it'll slowly get more panned. Uh, and then you have the delay slowly coming in, which makes it that cool little like delay sound. And then the pluck's slowly getting more pluckier over time. The Reese I, is basically just the same from the beginning, yeah. Basically just like the intro Reese. And then you have the sub. Again, very basic stuff. I will quickly go over the, the processing for subs because, you know, it's a sub. So yeah, just uh, some Camel Crusher and some EQing to get uh, rid of some of the high-end frequencies. But yeah, most of the same things get repeated, so we have the vocal chops here. So basically like the, the vocal chops from earlier, got the art pad coming back and then, you know, slowly coming back out. So yeah, that's that's basically it here. So yeah, so just some more impact stuff. This impact is actually from Cute from Sekai. Oh, actually, I just forgot the little, uh, it's called a Fowler Lick, but just a nice little like melody lead sound in the background. So yeah, nice little melody in the background. Wow, that's all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, basic stuff, just delay, shimmer, just basically just reverb and stuff. Uh, this is actually using Spire, also a really good plugin for uh, for sounds. And then most of the same things from the intro. This is where things start to get, um, I'll probably touch less upon because it's most of the same stuff from the intro. Once you have like an intro and like a drop, kind of covered with a bunch of sounds, it gets, it gets pretty easier from there. So the drums basically like the same from the intro. Just kind of more uh, subdued. We have the synth pad coming back, and then we have some new sounds like the strings. Which is actually using the, the contact strings, if I can find them here. 
yeah, session session strings pro two. Very nice strings. So without all those effects on it. So very very basic stuff. Basically just getting like compressed, uh, and then just some EQing to get rid of the the low end. And here's the, the little mil the little MIDI here. So basically just using like the the chord progression, but kind of going all over the place with melodies. Da, 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 da. So it has like a lot of harmonies going together. Really cool stuff. Uh, this actually you can't really hear in the background, but yes, there's actually a guitar in this section. Has like a nice little rhythm there. I believe this is also using another uh, contact guitar. Or just another contact thing in general. Uh, Electric Sunburst uh, Deluxe, uh, the melody version, which allows you to kind of go crazy with a bunch of uh, cool little effects there. So basically, this is just changing. Uh, this is changing from like being like uh, super like plucky and muted to like open. Uh, that's what the uh, the little like things on the bottom are showing. And then yeah, just did like the rhythm manually. So just like a nice little like layer to kind of blend it with everything else. So yeah, a nice little thing. Uh, this cool little ARP thing that Izzy made. Again, Izzy's just making all the cool stuff. Uh, this is... Ooh. I actually don't know what this is. Okay, so it's a triangle. Uh, and then there's like a nice little like uh, attack on it. So it has like the, the, the attack type sound. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's basically just like, like a, a triangle that has a attack. So it sounds super like super like patty and then you have just like crystallizer delay just filling out uh making it really nice and neat it's a very very cool i uh originally this had a lot more layers in it but it was it was too full and i thought you know i feel like it should be more uh subdued yeah most of the same stuff here plucky chords another uh a new little uh bass sound here i forget exactly this where this is from uh, but, uh, so I can't really go into the specifics, but you can, you can kind of see how it's made. Basically just like a nice little, uh, bass pluck, which isn't in the bass's area. Okay. Uh, more of the background pad, but just more, uh, turned down. Yeah, most of the same stuff here. Then you have this, uh, oh yeah, this cool little, like, pluck bell sound, actually. Which I believe is just the pre-drop little bell sound that I showed off before, the, the E-Halls one. So just like a nice little like background bell here. This is actually used as like a, a cool little like transition piece, this little part. Yeah, so really nice. This uh this cool little pad thing, again, also made by Izzy. Very minimalistic type sound. So it's so basically using the phaser as like uh making it like a really uh minimalistic sounding. And then also plucked. And then just reverb. Uh, but it'll take like the like the the notes and a like I I don't know how to exactly explain it but it just it just sounds cool. Uh again most of the same stuff there. What I really wanted to show off though, the little piano melody here. Uh you don't this is probably one of my favorite piano melodies that I have kind of done. Like I I won't lie, like I really like how this turned out. This turned out exactly how it turned out in my head. So I just wanted to play it out because you know, I <laughs> it deserves to be heard. slowly turning into a uh, a riser again uh, again most of the same stuff it's literally just this, the same build up here e even the the drop two is basically just the same but you have like this little fake out yeah so this <laughs> i actually used the harmer pluck here as like a little bass layer so really really cool there so you you can hear the basically just chopping up the bases and then you have like the bass layers of course uh the drop vocal chops again just kind of going with the rhythm so yeah basically the the plucks here is doing most of the like the cool little, like melody work
So yeah, basically just like setting up the fills. And then we have like the bell from the, the breakdown actually coming in. Cool little layer. Most of the, the same drums. And then uh, the little lead here, the infaller lead, I'd like to call it. So basically, <laughs> the infaller lead is very basic. It's literally just like a kind of synced uh, saw like uh, lead that's uh, a little bit unison, just to give it that little clean sound. Also like slowly going up in vibrato. And then just, you know, OTT and then using the effects to it, uh, its advantage, like uh, slowly low passing it up and then having a, a little reverb sweep. And then it slowly and then it has like the cool little like, like the cool little like dive also getting reverbed out. So blends in very well here, I'd say. Yeah, that's that's basically it. And then the the outro. Oh yeah, you have this part, which is, it's literally just the same as the other chorus part, but it's a little bit like slower instead of it being like da 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 It's like da 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 So that's that. And then this is more. So it's the da 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 and then it has the... Yeah, so it's like a mix of both. Just to change it up a little bit, because I don't want to, you know, be too copy and pasty. Um... Yeah, and there you go. That's that's basically it. So you have like the little pad leaving us here, and then we have the little piano outro. Which, again, just piano. Uh, had a lot of fun writing this like little piano outro here. You have this like really cool long like a bunch of notes ending. And then like the, the melody kind of dragging off here while it um, comes to a close. Nice little bass sound at the end. So yeah, very, uh, very nice little, uh, little piano outro. And yeah, to just kind of like show it off one more time, the whole project. There it is, surprisingly, basically all organized. But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you, you guys were able to learn something from this video. And I hope it was uh, entertaining enough because uh, I haven't done one of these in a while or just kind of ever. I usually like always live stream these, but I figured like I could be more entertaining if I recorded and like edit it. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys again learned something. Um, I will see you guys in the probably the next music video that I upload just like you know um, next release um, or hopefully if you guys like this video more tutorials uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want me to, to show off or go into more um, so yeah again thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye